From the TIA Portal Project View, expand the Traces listing from the Project Tree and double-click Add New Trace. New Trace appears in the Project Tree. Double-click to open it. In the Configuration window, we will need to define the bits to be traced. We will select the 10 Hz system clock bit for one of the elements and some other bits from our project to be monitored. When all bits to be monitored have been defined, we must set the sampling specifics. In the example, we will set the trace to record every 100 cycles. We will also need to set up how we want the trace to be triggered. In this example, we will start the trace on the Start tag. With the configuration complete, we will install the trace to the CPU by clicking the icon in the menu bar and confirm with yes. Note the status is inactive at this time. Click the icon to activate the trace. The status changes to waiting for trigger. We will use the on-screen HMI to trigger the trace. The status changes to recording. Note the 10 Hz clock bit trace shows the bit going high and low and the system off bit changes from a high to low state as the system on bit goes from low to high. We will perform a count reset from the HMI and note that the count reset bit went temporarily high. We will now activate the countdown button and monitor the bit in the trace. When the count reaches zero, the count reached bit goes high. When the recording is sufficient, the trace can be deactivated by clicking the icon in the menu bar. The trace is maintained for further analysis. It may be necessary to zoom in or out on the trace for analytics. This is possible by using the plus and minus magnifying glass icons in the menu bar. The trace bit function has been configured and tested.